what's up guys and welcome back to Spiritfarer and in the last episode we, you know you know my memory's not so good I don't actually remember what happened but I know that we need to carry on with summer I think that will be the aim of today's video Summer's storyline She has been complaining that she's been feeling cold Which is a little bit concerning because normally when someone is feeling cold it's an indication that they are Oh shame I just broke these sheep up That they are getting sick Which reminds me, I did read up a little bit on the law, a tiny bit, and I did not realize, or maybe I shouldn't say anything, I don't know if we're supposed to know yet or not, so let me not say anything, just in case I give spoilers for you guys, which I definitely don't want to do. Okay, we've got to go somewhere. Oh, I need glimpse. Is there any much? Oh, we're only right at the top. Because I want to get the kitchen up, um, upgrade. Should we just go... I want to see if there's anything back here. Hello? I know, where is Summer? Have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd. She's usually up at first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the shipwright could help us. Okay. Well, that's fine because we are near Albert. We'll go to Alt Harbor just to see what's happening there. If there's anything and then I will... Oh, no. I wasn't meant to cook chicken. Okay, let's cook it with the celery. I meant to keep that for the fried chicken. Might be one of my favorite game characters ever. Uncle Tool, Joel from The Last of Us. But yeah, Uncle Tool is definitely out there. Let's go, Daphnel. Let's go see if there's anything here. Or anything oh. to do here. Hello, welcome, welcome. We are the Hummingbird Preservation Society, which was established well by uh, established by well mm. me. I was tired of sitting around and not doing anything. My name is Jabari Simmons, and I believe in cleanliness. I believe in a clean hummingbird. Mm -hmm. That's why I and the other volunteers are here. We want to restore this harbor. It's badly in need of a mm -hmm. paint job. Bring back that sparkle. There used to be an old boat docked there. We could have used the materials to rebuild mm. these homes. Someone has apparently stolen it. People do silly things sometimes. If you'd like to give us a hand, we are always looking for mm. volunteers. Right now, I think we just want to get those crates out of the water. Okay. Up for it? Of course you are. You're a go-getter. I wonder if they help with, like, opening these doors. Because you can see there's a, a rare chest or whatever up there. Hmm. I hate cleaning. I 
Okay, you do, but that's unhelpful. Who used to live here? Animals? That's who. Really? Okay, so I'm supposed to clean up some crates. So there was something back here, at least. I didn't come here for nothing. I just thought, this is where we first started the game. I wonder if there would be anything. Is that it? Good job, are there any more? I don't think so. That was great. We'll keep painting and cleaning those stains. Probably get rid of that hmm. dumpster. I heard that. I heard what I think. I heard what I think was a possum in there. Sometimes that's the way it goes. That's what happens day in, day out hmm. over here. Repair, restore, repeat. That's our motto. The three R's of Hummingbird Preservation Society. Hmm. Hopefully no one is already using that motto. Well, back to business. Here's a small but crucial shopping list. If we get all of that, we'll be able to give this beaut the shine she deserves. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for your precious help. Be seeing you. Okay, so... Is that shenanigans? Find household glue. Find silk threads. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, we need to go to our battle. Silk meat stew. We have a lot of coffee. Maybe we should just cook that. Uh, crab. If I just put it by itself, it will probably be steamed shellfish or something boring like that. Where are my pears coming in, by the way? It's taking a very long time. Oh, wait. There you go. Thank you. Finally. Do you have something to say, Romeo? Not? Okay, well, everyone's fine and Dan. Oh, we're already here. That was really quick. It's nearly bedtime. We made it just in time. What is it? Oh, if I don't know that face, it's about that house. The green and brown one, right? I have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I could see it from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and the boys, we are real professionals. And it's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship. But that house, oh wow. It had to be the worst job I've ever seen. And look at Stella's face. So consider this a lesson. Don't just trust any old amateur always go to a professional so tell me what complaints does your passenger have what she's sleeping oh of course that bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes so rude imagine how cold she must be not mentioning her dry and scaly skin no no she needs a temperature and humidity control system luckily that place was so shoddily designed that there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Some plants and schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it courtesy after all. How can you repair your debt if your boat falls to pieces? <sighs> Anything I can do? How do I get the one where I can see in the fog? I need like some kind of light. Okay, so I'm just... Need to adjust. 
just fine. See, see. I feel like I'm sitting up a bit too high. Okay, so I guess let's have a look see. Um, would the schematic be in here? No, it would probably be in improvements or in our task list thingy. Uh, where's our house? This one. This one. Iron ingots. Oh, we can go make some iron. Bolt? Bolt, okay. Hmm, yeah, this one. Checking something. Okay. Yeah, 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 we know. Iron always takes so long. Oh, okay. New task. Or at least something. Talk to Summer when she wakes up. Okay. Okay, we shall do so. Bisk. That's unexciting. Oh yeah, I wanted a fish, right? Checking everything. Sorry, I just shifted my laptop. I want to see if I was still in the frame. Seems good. Seems good. Okay, should we go somewhere or should we stay here? Maybe we should quickly come to this guy. Huh? Oh, whoops! Let's talk to Summer. Summer! No! It's got a beautiful Monstera. I think it's a Monstera. It's not fuzzy. Oh, Stilly. I think I might have overslept a bit. How long have I been, been sleeping? What? That much? Hibernating, you say? Well, I guess it was bound to happen. I might have been ignoring what my body was trying to tell me. A bad habit of mine. Thank you, Stella, for taking such good care of me. Uh, okay. Your vibes have just been ruining the moments. Errands. I mean, like, is this worth it? Noodle soup, corn dog. 
treasure map. <gasps> Eight iron ingots. Hold that thought. Let's go make eight iron ingots so we can get a treasure map. The combination of the, the onion guy's music and um, Summer's music is playing my games on me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Summer's calling me. I will be- oh shit. I'll be right with you, Stella. I want that treasure map. Ah, you found yourself a treasure map. You might find something interesting from it. Look inside, you'll find coordinations for some treasure. Thank you. Again, Stella, I- I wanted the dreams still at their back so much stronger than I ever thought they could be. These visions, I see them now even as I am awake. The reefs have turned into wafts of ethyl scented smoke and the rotten fruit formed into the eye of the dragon. Vitreous and sickly and a, a coil of arduous rust. Another dragon has awoken. He scares me, but suffering cannot be allowed. You would agree, I'm certain. Let's go help it, shall we? The metastic coil? Okay, let's see if it's on the map. So we've got another dragon to help. Zoom, 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 zoom. Oh, is it this one? A loom oh, finally should I go into safe mode yeah let's just do it but finally can get some aluminum I need to feed everyone Handsome, are you hungry? Let's try exotic. Eesh, sorry, Bambina. That thing is chock full of carbs. I can't do carbs, honey. Hey, call me vain all you want. I gotta take I gotta take good care of this body. 
how could my hair sparkle and my guts resist gravy otherwise? I can't eat stuff like this. It would go straight to my butt and we don't want that, do we? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay, so would you eat a salad? Oh! So... <laughs> Veggies? Mm -hmm. I know you're hilarious. Ah. Um. Want a pear? Oh, man. Do you want a pear? Who else? Astrid. Um. Where's your wife? Astrid. Is she inside? Oh, there she is. Something smells different. Don't you think? Oh, as I thought. This one doesn't look the same. Just just help it, Stella. Okay, I'll help it. Stand on it. When do I have to jump onto it? When it's at the bottom? But I can't I can't get onto it. stand on it while it moves I fall off so how am I supposed to make it to the top I don't understand I just fall off. How am I supposed to get on here? Don't understand. Uh, now 
don't want to try jump on it when it's at the top. No, I can't reach it. But when I climb onto the bottom, I can't get to it either. I can't get up there. Oh, God. <gasps> Don't fall off for the love of everything good in this world. Oh, my God. Are you going to move? Which is really bad at this apparently. Which is fine because I am really bad at this. Why is there one random one here? Are you gonna move? Hmm. <laughs> see. this one move say hey. is that tail meant to like are you gonna move are you gonna move <gasps> that scared me <laughs> How many of you are there? I mean, seriously. Hold up a minute. It just took me so long to figure out that I was just being bad. <sighs> Incredible. It's... I... Uh, I need some time. I'm sorry. I mean Stella, Summer. Talk to Summer. Wow, it took me the whole night. Okay, obviously not now. Oh, and you? I'll shame you later. Stella. Stella the dragon. I thought it was getting tamer. It seemed like we finally learned to coexist. To manage at least. But it's really getting stronger, isn't it? Well, you know what it means as well as I do. It's time for me to go. Please, when you can, bring me to the Ebidor. I'll be fine. What? Their fur just disappeared. Glitch much? Okay. Everyone's full? Because I was busy with the dragon? I really wonder what the dragon symbolizes. 
Maybe it means nothing. Maybe it means something. Maybe it means everything. Talk to a tool. Aish. Look at him, look at your body. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Stella, I'm not feeling so hot right now. Oh. Look at him. I've got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is, is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn, your aunt Viv would murder me if she knew. Ah! Oh! I hit spacebar! And I cut that scene! Oh no! Come here, talk to me. <laughs> stop, stop. Uh, Stella. Okay, looks like space bar reverse time. Um, your Aunt Viv would murder me if she knew I didn't at least have one picture of her kids. I was gonna say, didn't you have kids? And she adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should. Hang it in my house. It won't get rid of the folds, but at least I won't get water all over it. Okay, so you want the picture. Are we here? Oh, jeepers. I just want to quickly see if I can do it. Ectoplasm ash plank. Okay, let's go, Stella. Ah, Summer. Are you ready to go? Thank you. Are you ready to go, Summer? I don't like it. <sighs> it's always sad saying goodbye to them although I know they're probably more at peace now that they've resolved and gone through their journey that they needed to go I really thought I could keep up with it this time the dragon I was certain it was calming down I could feel it purring the warmth of it in my chest I guess I just did it all over again, just like my father. The dragon is a beast. Indomitable, if I recall my own words correctly. Whether you choose to care for it or beat it down. Oh, what would Rose think of me? Would she be proud? Would she be ashamed? I can't help but wonder what she would have done in my stead. But I know, I know what she would have told me. She would have locked me straight in the eye looked me straight in the eye. Her gaze would have pierced through the veil of my appearance. She wouldn't have said a word. She knew from the beginning, she knew the dragon would take me away. She knew I would have tried to love it and not hate it. Would she have judged me for my failure? I couldn't love it, Stella. I just couldn't. What is this dragon? Like, what does it symbolize? As much as I hate it, it is a part of me now. It will be forever. If I want to live gracefully, I must accept it for what it is now. I was looking forward to so many more lessons with you. You've been such a gifted student, Stella. I am so proud of you, so proud of your heart, so proud of your blossoming soul. I'm sorry to leave you. 
You'll have to learn by yourself. I have no doubt that you'll pull through. The only lesson I have left is to show you what we're made of. Of ephemeral starlight. We're but a few particles of thought on the vast stream of consciousness. This is the last thing I can teach you, Stella. That all things change, that all things end. I'm so proud of you, Stella. And I know Rose would be too. Thank you for everything. guys i think now is a great time to end the episode i hope you enjoyed it and yeah saying goodbye to spirits is never easy it's always emotional but it's good to know that hopefully they're moving on to a better place so thank you so much for watching guys please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed and i'll catch you in the next video cheers <laughs>